So tell me, which path are you choosing? Which path are you on? A path of struggle or a path of ease? Hey, this is Rosemary Lonnie Knight, and this is the Deliberate Life Stream. Okay, so I was reading this morning, or was it yesterday even? <laughs> I was reading in wonderful scriptures, which, you know, like it just give you these little wisdom nuggets if you, are, if you open your eyes to see and hear, or open your ears to hear as well. And I was reading about the beginning of the world. Now, this has been a place of great... Um, questioning people with evolution against creation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which in the end, I just think, oh, for goodness sake, <laughs> we need to figure out the wisdom that will help us live everyday life, not, although yes, there is, there is, um, it's helpful to know where we come from, but it's also helpful just to know what to do next in order to progress, in order to move forward. Okay, and yeah, there are, anyway, this story, let's get into that before I get into my philosophy around creation and evolution. Anyway, um, the story goes of the, Adam and Eve being in the Garden of Eden, and there were two particular trees that is made mention of. And there's, I mean, Adam gets to name everything and gets to, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of truth and wisdom in that story in itself. Just the fact that Adam gets to name everything and choose whether it's good or bad or whatever, the same as we do in our lives every single day, but that's another live stream. For right now, I just want to focus in on the tree of good and evil, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and the tree of life. They had the choice of these two trees, Okay. Now, it always, it always made me wonder why the story tells us that they ignored the tree of eternal life and instead chose to have the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And, okay, yes, there's a lot of stuff around it, but just, just consider this with me for a second here and apply it to your life, okay? Because it's all right learning about all this past stuff, but what of your life today? Here we are talking about the deliberate life. You, before you, you have these two trees, okay? Whether they're in your imagination or whatever. You have these two trees in front of you. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of eternal life. You have these two trees in front of you. They appear as, are you going to choose a path where you're working your socks off? You are comparing, the only way for you to experience good is if you have evil to compare it against. So you are working your socks off because you need to know, you need to have that, um, that, that ability to compare. Do you see what I'm saying here? I'm not sure I'm explaining it so well, but it's almost like there's some of us that choose to experience evil so that we can know our good, okay? So that is one path, and most people on the planet choose it. In order for us to know, in fact, I remember actually a friend mentioning, well, if we believe that there's a, an ultimate good, we must also believe that there's an ultimate evil. That is definitely one way of looking at the world. That until I've experienced bad, I cannot appreciate good. So therefore, I want to know good and bad. I want to understand everything. I want to work my socks off and then decide maybe I don't want to do that. And that is definitely one way of living life. There is the other path that just decides, you know what? I, you know, I, I say things like Papa is my instant, constant and unlimited supply and he's always on time. And you can choose that actually I'm just going to go for the good. I don't need to experience the bad. I don't need to compare my good against my bad in order to appreciate my good. I could just choose the good. And that too is available to you. So you have these two choices. Are you always going to seek to go through hell in order for you to fully appreciate heaven? Or are you just going to choose heaven <laughs> and just choose good? Now, all of these, both of these choices are made in your mind first. And yes, if you have been experienced, you've been exposed to evil, let's say evil, let's say just when I say evil, really, I'm talking about hard times. 
if you've been exposed to hard times from your childhood, it may be hard to believe that you can just switch path and choose just good, just to look for good all the time. You might think that's just unrealistic. It's just, that's just babyish thinking that way. I still remember actually, I remember being laughed at because I chose to marry for love because they felt that's just childish. This was my Nigerian family feeling that oh, it's childish to marry for love and things like that. And it's like, uh, okay, if you guys want to choose to, to marry for what convenience or practicality, then good for you. I choose to just go after my good. I choose to go after my good. I used to think it was a bad thing actually to seek out an easier path. I really did. And it, and you might even think that you might think it's a bad thing to consider to always look or to choose like to allow life to be easy. You might think it's, it's copying out. You might think it's weak to expect life to be easy. But then if you fully owned your divine nature, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be easy? Most of us in this community are spiritual. Some of you are Christian and you, you read through the Bible and all of this stuff and you see it, Jesus said there about he can't, him coming so that you may have life and life in its fullness, but you seem to think that it's only going to happen after death. But what if it's supposed to happen now? The kingdom is here now, not sometime in the future, now. You get the choice of, okay, I have to experience bad in order to appreciate good. That is your choice. Or you can just simply choose to look for the good all the time. Expect the good all the time. Refuse to settle for anything less than the good all the time. And you might, yeah, it will take some, it's like a transition. It's a transition from a life of, Oh, well, things are supposed to be bad. If I'm, if I'm lucky enough, I'll maybe experience some good to a life of actually life is supposed to be good all the time. It will take a transition because you're, you're exposed and you're surrounded by people who choose to the knowledge of good and evil, but you are choosing just good, just eternal life in all its fullness. You get to choose that. It will take some transition. Yes, I know because you'll keep, um, what's it called, zigzagging between the two versions of life. But you know what? If you stick with it, you will transition into a life where everything is just good. Everything is good. That can be your reality. And I don't say this stuff lightly. I know it sounds kind of crazy to even imagine that. But honey, you are born to live prosperously, free, fulfilled, with love all around you abundance, wealth, success, all of this stuff is supposed to be yours all the time. But it's yours if you claim it. I keep talking about claiming your good. You are the one that gets to claim your good or you can keep buying into the fact that, well, life is bad. And so I need to expect my fair share of bad stuff, basically. And well, you'll get it. Or you can choose not to anymore. Just opt out, opt out of that life. I call it the because I want to lifestyle, just opt out of the other one. <laughs> Decide, no, no, nah, no more. I've decided life is easy now. And I'm going to continue to look for the good. It is your choice. Say it with me. The divine is my instant, constant, and unlimited supply. And is always on time. And if you want to experience this for real, because there are certain rules there's certain laws of the universe that cannot be, that, that they work every time if you apply them. And I want to expose you to them. So come, join me for the seven day miracle experiment. It is at rosemarynonionight.com forward slash seven day miracle. That's it. <laughs> I was thinking, what is the link then? It's rosemary. Let me type that up for you. rosemarynonionight.com forward slash seven day miracle miracle go join in take part in the miracle experiment experience it for yourself and then just choose to see only good it is your choice choose well honey much amazing love bye